Next one is corporate member. Those professional experience of at least two years in landscape architecture. Graduates has been a member for at least two years of ILAM. And corporate member only entitled to use the initials after his name, ILAM, and have the power to vote and hold office in the institute. The other one is basically a graduate member that con constitute of Malaysians who are not qualified to be a corporate member to, and they don't have the power to vote a whole office in the institute. But then after you graduate, immediately after you graduate or a person or students from the accredited program landscape architecture in the local universities and also international universities, before they become a corporate member, definitely students has got to register as a graduate member. So the third category, namely as associate member. So this associate member is basically by someone who is not eligible to become a corporate member. Someone who has approval or a degree in related field with profession as landscape architecture, such as architecture, planning, horticulture, and etc. So they can be our associate member or ELAM associate member, but definitely because of the background, they can not be a corporate member. Okay. And the fourth category of memberships belongs to student. So this category of membership is open to students and students who are studying in the field of landscape architecture education or other professional services by the institute allowed to be a members of study. And we also have the fifth category, which is the honorary, not less than 40 years, reputable and believed by the council to contribute but they do not have the power to vote a whole office in the institute. So the honorary member of ELAM definitely give us an advisors and the pillar of the institution. And we're very proud to have one of our honorary members is our Prime Minister, Yang Ahmad Berhormat Tun Mahathir Muhammad. And the sixth category will be a fellow members. So a fellow members, a Malaysians who are in the opinion of the very high caliber and has made a great contribution to this field. A fellow member also has to be someone who has been a corporate member of the institute no less than 10 years. We also have the seventh category of the membership, which is the foreign country. So the foreign country is open to the overseas members to a qualified landscape architect who is also a foreign citizen who is believed by the council to be rewarded with our foreign membership. But definitely, they do not have the power to vote a whole office in the institute. And our eighth category, which is the final category, is a consultant firm. A consultant firm that conducted consultancy regarding landscape architecture and registered with registrar of Malaysian companies. So majority of the consultant's firm shareholder must be a corporate member of ELAM and has been working at least five years as a landscape architect. And the full registration terms specified by ELAM Council. So that would be the eight types of memberships in ELAM. So, ladies and gentlemen, let us continue. ELAM as a professional body in Malaysia is basically servicing the members in Malaysia and also internationally. So, ELAM affiliation goes to Balai Iktisas Malaysia or BIM. And this affiliation is very important to promote the professionalism of professionals in Malaysia. The other one is the International Federation of Landscape Architects, IFLA, which is to promote landscape architecture profession and professionalism throughout the world and also Asia-Pacific region. So, ELAM basically has five 
divisions or five regions. The first one is the American region, European, where Professional Service Development Center, PSDC, Professional Advanced Development, and also Business Promotion. So how about landscape architecture in education? Because without having a degree in landscape architecture education, someone is not able to be a professional landscape architects in Malaysia or around the world. So for your information, there are five public universities offering the landscape architecture education. There are UITM, University Technology Mara, with Bachelor in Landscape Architecture and also Diploma in Landscape Architecture. The other one is UTM, University Technology Malaysia, with Bachelor in Landscape Architecture. UPM, with Bachelor in Landscape Architecture and Master in Landscape Architecture. USM, University Science Malaysia, and also UITM, University Islam Antarabangsa Malaysia, that offers Bachelor in Landscape Architecture. So UPM, University Putra Malaysia, is basically offering the BLA and also MLA. So there are also a polytechnics and community colleges that provide a basic education of landscape architecture education. So they are providing a certificate in nursery and landscape management, landscape horticulture and also landscape design before students can embark doing bachelor in landscape architecture in these five mentioned public universities. Hariwaya. Landscape Architecture in Malaysia. Thank you.